in my opinion, I mean, in a, in the opinion of a lot of Catholics, traditional Catholics, like women, sh- a lot of my wife does not agree with this, but women shouldn't even wear pants. The Secret Service examined a 2018 shooting at a yoga class in Tallahassee, Florida, in which a man killed two women and wounded six. Who can blame these guys? Who can blame young guys nowadays? Once again, I mean, you just look at, and I see, and I drive past, and I, and I see, and, you know, walking through the mall or walking through shops, and I see how these, these young women talk. I, I see, we see how they act. We see it in the numbers. Like I said, a body, body count of 20 for chicks nowadays is like low. It's low. And then they just jump from dude to dude to dude. To, it's, ju- it's just a mess. I am a misogynistic extremist. You know, when that one reporter asked me how I should label myself, Instead of saying Christian nationalist, I should have said a misogynistic extremist. (laughs) How can you really blame a guy for murdering women? This is the question white nationalist and self-proclaimed misogynist extremist Vincent James is asking his many followers these days. In a truly gross and misogynistic rant, James talks pretty incoherently about the problem with women these days, going so far as to say that they shouldn't even wear pants, a statement his own wife disagrees with. I have very few things to say about this video, mostly because he is truly just screaming into a void and displaying perhaps the fragilest sense of masculinity I have ever seen. He's literally making the argument that because women dress differently and have more sexual partners than our parents and older generations, they deserve to be violently murdered. Kind of a funny argument for someone who preaches their Christian faith quite openly. But these types are nothing more than grifters trying to get famous off of men's worst insecurities. And it's not only the misogyny that's deeply sad, but his utter lack of self-respect is downright degrading. Notice how earnestly here he tries to convince us that he is still young. Like, I can't even imagine how dudes, how men, young men can meet someone today. Like, back when I was young, younger, I'm a young guy, by the way, I'm only 35. Just five years ago, I was still in my 20s, technically. Okay, so let's just put that out there right away. Uh, Second of all, when I was younger, this is also important because it displays how his whole message isn't grounded in any concrete ideology. It's just him lashing out against feeling left behind by a world that rightfully doesn't value this type of person. But unfortunately, that only makes these types of men's behaviors worse when they lean into it and encourages them to keep drifting. And it's really dangerous to other young men who see this type of influencer and think he's on to something rather than just with a huge and vast sense of self-loathing. All I can say is I hope Vincent James's wife is prepared for a lifetime of absurd sexism and that she tries to use her position to soften his. I certainly don't envy her position, but she chose this partnership and I hope for her sake she continues to wear the pants in their relationship. Thanks so much for watching. You can follow me on all platforms at carojohnson917.